Hey everyone, in this video we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to install a brand new Indian virtual appliance, uh, in our case on a VMware server. So the first thing we'll do here is log into our VMware machine. And then all we really need to do here, uh, because we applied, we uh, supply a virtual appliance that's fully ready to use, we'll just hit create, create register VM. And we'll select the second option here to deploy a virtual machine from OVF or OVA file. So we'll hit next and we'll give it a name. And then we need to click to get our file selection. So when you get a virtual appliance from Indian, it's a zip file. Inside of the zip file are all of these files. So these are uh, image files. And then there are installation instructions in a text file that you see here for the different platforms we support. So Hyper-V, KVM, VMware, and Zen. Um, and so you can follow the instructions in those as, for those different platforms. So in this case, we're VMware. So we're going to select our OVF and our VMDK file, which is the disk file. We'll hit next. We'll select the default for the data store. We'll agree to the license, accept the default here. And we'll go ahead and hit finish. So now our virtual appliance is going to get deployed here. And um, the thing to note about the virtual appliance, the default um, configuration comes with three network interfaces. Because this is uh, typically deployed as a, as a gateway device, um, the minimum threshold for the gateway configuration is two network interfaces, one for external, one for internal. Um, but it does come with three network interfaces. Uh, so we'll take a look at that here once the virtual machine is available. So we click here and then we'll right click and go to settings just to verify. We see here three network adapters. They're all configured to use the default VM network, which in our case is fine because uh, DHCP is running on that network. But you wanna make sure that the initial network that you connect your virtual machine to uh, is connected to a network with DHCP. Just makes it easier to get up and running to access the uh, wizard, the web interface wizard of the Indian appliance. And that's it. All we got to do now is uh, start our virtual appliance and we're ready to get to the next step, which is to launch the installation wizard.